This is Jeffrey Towson, uh, Peking University here in Beijing. I'm here today with Ivan Guo, uh, CEO of Jiaopin. Jiaopin is the largest career platform in China, 140 million registered users. He's agreed to answer a few short questions with us today. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. And just really want to ask you five short questions sure. about your business, your industry, and where you see it going. Yeah. Uh, first question is, what's the single most important thing going on in, in your industry? So career platforms in China? Yeah. Well, I think the most important thing um, in China about job market is really the labor shortage. Uh, because uh, of the one-child policy, uh, China is actually seeing the labor force is growing at almost like 0%. Uh, if you're thinking about uh, the GDP growth is around 6.5 um, uh, to 7% each year, uh, but the labor uh, growth is 0%, there is a big gap. Uh, so you see um, it's increasingly difficult to find talents. Uh, it's increasingly um, sort of the, the salary is getting higher and higher. And uh, people are jumping from one job to the other job. Uh, we look at data in the States uh, around uh, uh, three to five years, young people sort of change jobs. Uh, in China, it's about one year. Uh, so there are a lot of dynamics because of this uh, demographic change. So I think uh, the one single event which shaped the industry or even shaped the job market and ch shaping uh, the China economy is really about this population issue. What's the single most important thing going on with Jiaopin this year? Yeah, well I think uh, um, we have conducted a massive uh, transformation this year uh, because internet is changing so fast. Uh, on top of that, China society and the economy is changing so fast. Society, I just talked about the, the demographic change. In terms of the economy, there is a big shift from uh, sort of the manufacturing economy into the service economy. Now it's the knowledge economy uh, because the AI, big data, etc. Uh, so we have to make sure under such circumstance, uh, Jiaoping is still catching up with the wave. Uh, we have to change from a bit more offline business into online business. Now we have to switch into a data business. Uh, it's not just uh, the product change, the organizational restructuring and um, sort of the capability rebuilding. Uh, it's all making my life very, very difficult at the moment, but it's exciting as well. What's the biggest difference between career platforms in China and say the West or outside of China? Well, it's a very interesting question because we actually just come back from a trip uh, from Silicon Valley. Uh, so I think one single um, interesting point when we visit those companies we talk about China uh, no one seems to be um, sort of excited about entering the China market everyone's scared they are basically thinking oh, it's a very different world it's a difficult world we don't touch it uh, but if you ask Chinese entrepreneurs everyone's interested in coming to the States in going to the States to explore market opportunities uh, to do acquisition uh, to learn from them and even penetrating to the U.S. market. But they feel like if you get into um, a successful story in the U.S., you can conquer the world. Uh, but on the contrary, it's, it's like one-way love. <laughs> so you, the Chinese people love the U.S. market, but the U.S. people, uh, entrepreneurs, are so scared of the China market. So that's uh, you know, there's a business model difference. There are many, many differences. But if you ask me one single uh, thing which is so different. That's the thing that's so different. And what is everyone getting wrong about, you know, career platforms, your industry, your company? What's the biggest misconception? Um, I think the the mi biggest misconception is people still thinking about the marketing, right? Uh, the viral marketing to attract all those candidates, to attract all those companies, uh, to come up onto our platform. Um, and some people with more advanced thinking, it's more product driven, internet product. And the Chinese government promote uh, internet plus very heavily. They right? say, oh, everything can be internet. Uh, but really, if I look at this business, it's actually about data. Uh, it's about matching. The matching is not just on your resumes, matching your skills with the job requirements, uh, but really matching of your interest. We need to understand what's your interest. Um, matching that interest with the culture of the company. Uh, this is all very deep learning about your personality, deep learning about the organizational cultures, etc. For example, a lot of young people uh, actually care about uh, the traveling time from home to work. 
that's even more important than how much you get paid. We, we, we can sometimes have those insights uh, because of the experience, because of the understanding of our customer, uh, because of uh, your intuition. But more and more, it's because of the data. Uh, so we are developing products with companies. So they basically, for example, videotape you, um, insurance companies, right? They used to interview thousands of people uh, as their sales agent. Uh, before, they have to do interviews you know, one on one, and it's a lot of time. You travel to the office, you do interview. Now, they basically ask you to record your answers to three preset questions. Uh, and then the HR manager says, just very quickly look at the answers of your three questions, look at your expressions, facial expressions when you answer those questions and make decisions. That saves a lot of time. But now it's even more, uh, we're studying just uh, using the uh, software um, to, to understand your facial expression. And then all of a sudden, that saves hundreds of hours. Uh, so if you walk into the room before, I have to chat with you for 10 minutes to understand who you are. Now, because of the uh, social network, all those software, you actually have all the labels on, your, on you. So before you're working, I actually know your personality, who you are and uh, what's good for you. Um, so that is a completely different world. What's next for Jiaopin or your industry or yourself personally? You know, three years from now, what's going to, you know, what will it look like? I don't know. Three years, too long a time. Uh, I think now three years, because China is changing so quickly, the industry is changing so quickly. Sometimes I wish I could know three years from today I can do the planning, uh, but that's only for consulting. <laughs> um, and you can only have hindsight. When you get there in three years, you can talk about how smart you are, how visionary you are. If we're lucky, we probably will understand uh, what will happen within half a year or one year. Um, at least in our company, we know um, where we're beginning, but we don't know uh, what are we going to end. Uh, so we're focused on today and tomorrow, not the day after tomorrow. So when we have this massive transformation, we know that's the vision, that's roughly the direction to go, and then we do um, transformation. Change the product, change the organization structure, etc. Uh, but everything's changing so fast. Um, but it's very exciting. We know that's the right direction. That's all we need to know. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming.